What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Shobek here, Mr. Bonkai himself. I'm getting a lot of comments in the shorts. By the way, thank you so much for everyone showing so much love that you guys would like to see some rogue guides on the PvP. So how we're going to do this is we're going to roll the clip through so you can see it in real time, and then we're going to rewind it and watch it together and just break down the whole fight so you guys know everything you guys need to know to win every single mage fight. All right, let's jump into it. Bonkai. Let's go. よろいそこだな。よそい。ばんかい。よしるくら。きぬくら。いでんしよふゆはかのさ。ばんかい。よろとそこだな、ないわ。I'll finish you here now. Sapuro jutsu. Cheaper jutsu, no macro jutsu. Tens of thousands of hours to be able to do this without breaking. Bunkai! Yomo no you. Oh, not the plucku! Not the plucku! No! 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 Kiku! Sia! There it is, boys. Full tier three, by the way. This guy is literally as bis as it gets, and Archon is an insane player and a good friend of mine. So I'm really happy to have this clip to show you guys. So let's jump in. First off, let's speed up and let's talk about the opener. All right, so you have a few sets of openers. One in particular that I think is most practical when you are in a 1v1 out in the world is to do just a cheap shot you don't want to sap you can do a sap into a cheap shot stop attack expose armor to build up combo points to get a better opener however i don't really agree with this because it takes too much time and the server is really highly dense and populated and you might run into another person trying to gank you or your sap might get heartbeated, so I don't really like to do those openers. But again, that's another great way that you can do it. But for this video, I'm just going to focus on how I like to do it and what I think is most practical for the use case. And that's going to be, I use sprint and see how I'm positioning myself to cheap shot the mage and I'm already running to where he wants to blink. Now, this is like a really, really important thing to understand is the mage is going to blink the cheap shot. All mages do, right? It's a stun. They're going to blink it. They don't want to take the damage. They want to protect their shield. So what you do is when you give them the element of surprise, you do sprint, cheap shot. You want to try and not auto attack. And that's why you see me kind of come at that bend. Now, unfortunately, I kind of misjudged the positioning of the player, but you still get the gist of what I'm trying to do. And that's just to hit the cheap shot so he sees the cheap shot icon on him and he wants to blink it because he knows cheap shot he wants to blink it he wants to prevent damage coming in so now i cheap shot look i'm already there where he was going to blink and so what this does is is it allows you to stay on top of the mage to get him to block so as you see he blinks a little bit of a mess up from the shobeku son himself and i quickly realize but i get on top of him right now he can't cheat me because what they want to do is they want to blink and get a reset, right? Blink or sheep or something like that. So now with this, I can go ahead and stay on top of them. I go for a gouge because I saw that he was facing me. And now this puts us into a really good situation where he knows I have the combo points to do a cold blood eviscerate. And he knows I want to get the damage in, especially since there's no blink. Blink isn't up. It's time to pump. I'm on top of him. We want to force the block. So ideally, the mage is going to block and he's wanting to time it so he baits my eviscerate. So you want to make sure that you're not just always using the cold blood eviscerate right when you're on top of him. You need to kind of feel out the fight and figure out does he want to insta block or is he going to hold it and let you get it off? Now, if you, if you don't want to cold blood eviscerate immediately and you want to try to just stack hemos on him or you want to just force him to block without using the eviscerate, you're then now ahead. So if you are, if you force the block before blind, if you force the block before cold blood eviscerate, 
that means you're ahead of the duel and that you're going to be winning the outcome because now he has no block and you're able to throw the blind and get a better reset on him and stay on top of him and do again the same cheap shot run forward and you'll catch him and then he won a second block or he won a, a second block for that kidney and then he'll die so here we go he blocks early thinking i was going to cold blood eviscerate so now he gets out i do my cold blood and I use my Vanish on the Nova because Nova is what's gonna create that distance. And so I got my Cold Blood in, I got big damage in on him, and now I've canceled out the Nova so I can stay on top of him. I still have Sprint up from the start. So now I'm able to stay on him and still pump damage before he gets his Blink up. So now, boom, four combo points. It's a DR cheap shot, but that's fine because what we're going to do here is we're going to go for the full stun lock. So here's a cheap into the kidney. I'm pumping damage. He can't block. He can't blink. It's not up yet. And then now I go for a cold blood eviscerate or just a normal eviscerate. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough damage to finish him. In most cases right here, you would probably finish your opponent. I wasn't using some gear. As you can see, I was kind of like RPing. Um, and also this guy is fully fucking biss this dude has insane gear um so he was able to live just out of it so now i throw my blind and now his blink is up so we have to do it again where it is the cheap shot into running where his characters are where he, running where his character is going to be and then closing it out with a kidney but i did something different here i did something different because he was low enough health that i figured I could go for a four combo point eviscerate and try and finish him off. And that was sapping him because he can't blink while he's sapped. And the, the mage cannot blink if he's also sapped and cheap shotted. So what I did was, is I turned my character. I turned my character so I wouldn't break the sap. I got the combo points. Unfortunately, I didn't get the initiative to make it a four. I'm going to get my auto attack swings and do the eviscerate to try to finish him off here. Now, while at the same time, you're going to notice my body movement, I'm actually going to still go forward because if it doesn't work out, you need every single step you can get. And I don't have preparation. You know, you can look at the bottom. We don't have prep. We have nothing now. All we have is one trinket to get out of one sheep to win this duel. This mage just needs one Nova. I don't have vanish. This mage just needs to live here, get one Nova, one sheep, and I'm done. So here I go, eviscerate, he just lives. Super unfortunate, but you see how I'm already running. There's no downtime. You know the blink is coming. You always need to remember that. Don't cheap shot and stand over the mage and kind of like hover over him and then let him blink. Then you react to his blink and then you go. You need to just always cheap shot and just run forward. He's going to go. He's going to blink it. You're not going to be able to get any sort of global in. You might be able to do a cheap shot gouge if you are on West Coast and you have 30 to 50 ping. I'm on East Coast and white main. I get around 70 to 90. So I can't do a cheap shot into a gouge. When you do a cheap shot gouge, you will gouge the, the mage's blink and you'll just be able to walk over there and save sprint but I can't, so I have to pop sprint pre, or I need to just do the whole pre-run um, and just get it clean. So here, I know that I have my trinket. He's super low health. He just used blink. I'm gonna just trinket this, stay on top of him. He got a really good proc on the, uh, the Nova, which was super scary here because he ended up ranging my auto attack. He really could have won here. He truly could have won at this point because I had nothing. Uh, but he ended up doing a mana, mana shield, which did an extra global. If he would have just focused on casting sheep, because he, I guess he didn't read it right where my damage was, or my auto attacks weren't coming in, uh, he would have won. He would definitely would have won. Because you see, I barely got that kickoff. And then I was on top of him and I was able to finish it out. Um, but that's going to be it for how you beat a mage as cold blood hemo rogue essentially whenever you cheap shot boys you want to run forward so you close that gap on the blink and you don't give them that extra second to get a, sh a sheep you want to be cautious of your cold blood eviscerate and make sure you're not cold blood eviscerating into their block because that's going to get you behind use your vanishes to break the novas to stay on top of the mage don't use it before 
And then also, if he blocks before you're blind, you're going to be ahead of the duel. And that's going to be putting you in a really good position for you to win the game. So, boys, I hope that helped from Mr. Bonkai himself. If you guys would like any more guides, let me know down in the comments below which ones you would like. And I would love to do those for you. All right. It's your boy. Till next time. Peace.